Let me show you how you can create mirror reflections in Canva. In your Canva homepage, click on Create and you can choose any format that you'd like. I'll choose Presentation so it is easier for you to see. Now I'm going to add an image that I want to create a reflection of. This one here. Now just click on the image and go to Apps and search for Easy Reflection. choose this one. You need to have the image selected, just click on create a reflection. As you can see, it creates the reflection already for you. Here you can change the position of the reflection. If you want it below, above, left or right. This can be super useful depending on the image or the project you're working on. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose below, so as if she's walking on a mirror, okay? And now you can change the offset. As you see, you can regulate to have like a measure that fits for you. I think this, I like it here about the 50 for this image and also the opacity. I'm going to add more opacity now because I still can reduce that in the transparency here later on. So when you find something that you think it is all right, to start working on, just add to the design. As you can see, it already sets like this reflection for you. Let me adjust this a little bit so you can see it better. I am going to cut the image here so it makes this effect of reflection more real. And the same here. And now I'm going to adjust its transparency so it looks more like a reflection. I think this looks good. Maybe some adjustments, some further adjustments in the app would make this look even more realistic. Let me take another image to test this app with you once more. In this image, we already have a reflection, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to cut it. So we will see how Canva creates that reflection for us as well. I'm going to adjust this already here. Now I'm going to select the image, go to apps, choose again, easy reflections, go back and create a reflection below in the offset, I think 40 and I'm going to still increase the opacity just a little bit. Now I'm going to add that to the design and adjust. So I'll have to make the cut on the same place I had before and just adjust it. Yeah, this looks more realistic than the first image. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you tested this app already and what you think of it. See you in the next video.